An update now. The woman who helped pull a little girl from a crash on Interstate 15 is sharing her story this evening. This was breaking news last night. Three people killed in that terrible crash that happened at the 95 North Ramp yesterday morning. One was a child. According to a friend and posts online, one of the victims was also pregnant. The coroner has not released the identities of the victims. We do have Joe Muller joining us after speaking with a woman who helped save a little girl near where this all happened, Joe. Well, after watching this crash, Stephanie P says she knew she needed to stop and help. Now, this evening, you can still see where this crash happened uh, along the freeway here next to the World Market Center uh, building. It's still blackened there on the concrete. Now, watching this all unfold, Stephanie P says people really need to slow down. Two people dead. I couldn't rescue them. Stephanie Pease was driving home with her son when a deadly crash happened in front of her eyes on Interstate 15 Thursday. The car was actually driving pretty erratically, or pretty quick, too. Um, and then when it hit the truck, everything spun out literally in front of us, and we just dodged all of the debris. She could have kept driving, but she stopped to help. She jumped out of her truck and saw a man who got out of the truck that was hit. I didn't know what he was getting in the back seat at first. I was trying to get yell at him to get out because it was gonna. It was the flames already coming out the bottom. Out of a pretty truck. She figured out the man was trying to save a child. I grabbed her and tried to get away from the flames. She put the young girl in her car while emergency crews arrived. She shot this video shortly after that. She says the car underneath the truck was scorched and she could not help anyone else. She did what she could. You had to. I mean, you got to help someone. And I was like, I would hope somebody would do the same for me. She now has a message for drivers. You need to slow down. <laughs> it is not worth it. <laughs> you know, use the next exit. You don't need to cut over four lanes. No life is worth, you know, that five extra minutes. Now, back out here live, we are expected to get the identities on Monday due to the coroner's office reduced hours due to the pandemic. Now, we also did find out that other car that was involved uh, that hit that truck was a bull ball. Reporting live here near downtown Las Vegas, Joe Muller, 8 News Now.